Seven months ago, we launched into this journey to do the right thing, to grow the economy, to tell people that all of us in the room care about the future of Indiana. How you doing? I'm Brad. How are you, sir? Like it. Nice to meet you. Nice to you. Thanks for being out here today. Cheers. Cheers. Happy, Cheers. Happy, happy, happy Pat. Happy Pat. Indiana now has a new candidate for governor, Brad Chambers. I am optimistic about Indiana's future. Chambers told me growing the economy would be his primary job as governor. Because I believe the number one job of a governor is to grow the economy, to lift people up through higher wages. I proved we could do it in two years as Secretary of Commerce for my dollar a year job. We grew the economy by $51 billion in two years, and those are high wage jobs. I also want to thank Brad Chambers. You've truly made our state proud. These big transactions touch hundreds of small and medium sized businesses, but we got more to go. With faith and courage, my wife and I decided to get into this race seven months ago. Couldn't do it without Carol and Nick. I'm grateful for the things in this state, and I believe it's great, but it can be even better. We've got to play to win in Indiana. We can't play not to lose. We need a CEO of this state, someone to run it like a business. He's coming in here to move our state forward so we can compete. As a state, Indiana needs boldness. He's willing to do the right thing without strings attached. And it's going to take some outsiders to yeah, come in and right. just say, we're not doing things the way we used to. Indiana is great, but it can be even better if we put our foot on the gas. I just want to thank you, Brad, for making the big commitment. We need to make long-term decisions to keep you guys in Indiana and build your lives here. Hey, everybody. It's Clayton Anderson. I'm Susan Brooks. I'm Mike Andretti. I'm here to support Brad Chambers for governor. He plays to win. Get out May 7th. And let's get Brad Chambers elected governor. I'm a guy who pushed a lawnmower for a very long period of time before I got into the real estate business and now I want to get back and lift the economy up, but I'm going to need you on May 7th to help us put this state in high gear and grow the heck out of it.